Okay, so this video is my ode to Marvel's Secret Wars. This Secret Wars special comic was one of the first comics I ever got, and was really my first introduction to the Marvel Universe, as all the big names are in it. It's just the first two issues of Secret Wars reprinted together with a hardback cover. The plot's very simple. A being known as the Beyonder gathers together Marvel's heroes and villains and dumps them on a planet of his making, ordering them to fight each other and whoever wins will be bestowed with great power. It's just an excuse for a bunch of superheroes and villains to fight, but as a kid, that's all you want from a comic. They're all in it, Spider-Man, the X-Men, Fantastic Four, the Avengers. What's not to like? What's amazing is that they made a range of action figures from it. It was only a comic and not a cartoon. They make figures from comics all the time these days, but for the 80s this was pretty rare. In England, they only released 8 figures, 4 good guys and 4 bad guys. But I learned much later on that they made many other characters in other countries. I shouldn't find this surprising really, as the same thing happened with DC Superpowers range of figures. We only got this basic 12, whereas other countries got a lot more characters. I managed to collect 5 out of the 8 available. I got Spider-Man. Iron Man. Wolverine. Doctor Doom. And Kang. I always wanted the Captain America one, but could never find it. The other two missing ones were Magneto and Doctor Octopus. I had a massive sort out of my collection recently and noticed I could almost recreate the Secret Wars line with new figures. This Captain America is on the first Avenger packaging and called Heavy Artillery, but looks like he does in the comics and looks like the Secret Wars Captain America. This Iron Man is on Iron Man 2 packaging, but is wearing 80s armour. And looks like the Secret Wars Iron Man, so that was a good find. This is Doctor Doom. In Secret Wars, he starts off looking like this, before having a costume change during the story. The Secret Wars figure was based on his new look, but I prefer his original look. And this is Doctor Octopus, who looks a lot like he did in the 80s and the Secret Wars figure. So all I'm missing now are Spider-Man, an orange and brown costume Wolverine, Magneto and Kang figures in this scale. I have seen Spider-Man figures in this scale before, but stopped buying them after Spider-Man 2, as I think Spider-Man figures peak with them. One should be too hard to track down though. I could always combine the two sets together, both old and new, but I'd still be short of Magneto. But this isn't a bad start to my old to Marvel Secret Wars.